Bob Womp and YouTube Rival Gaming here! <laughs> What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this Borderlands 3 experiment. In the previous one, we decided to see what would happen when we shot all of the targets while riding a roller coaster. Safe to say, if you do manage to hit all of the targets while riding the roller coaster, you unlock this door that has a red chest in it. So, it's pretty cool, and you can continue to farm it over and over. Anyways, in this experiment, we're going to be seeing the outcomes of the sellout side mission. In case you don't know, there is a side mission that you can start in Amber Meyer that involves Tyrene Calypso. The side mission gives us options to obey her or to disobey her. And in this video, we're going to be seeing what happens when we take both outcomes, just to see what happens. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. By the way, the mission can spawn right here, once again, at Amber Meyer on Eden 6. Alright. See, it's been forever since we killed your siren friend, and my followers are chomping at the bit for a new murder vid. So, we built a death machine! Here's a sitch. Let me film you killing yourself with my murder cams, and then I'll give you a one-of-a-kind gun. I guess you could try to ruin my whole thing, destroy all my murder cams, whatever, but real talk, you're a gun... <laughs> we both know it. <laughs> you're a gun... Totally... <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's the dialogue you get when you first start up the mission. And, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and obey Tyrene, even though it's gonna take a shot at my pride. Just to see the weapon that she's talking about that she's going to give me. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we use her death trap for her video. Even though I don't want to obey her whatsoever. Oh! Hyperion asks, did we ever tell you the definition of insanity? Wow, you actually did it! You are a total gun <laughs> And we just added a cool hundo thousand followers, so win-win! My work here's done. Thanks, Wolf Thief. I know I could count on you. Alright, so yeah, if you choose to obey Tyrene, which most of us don't really want to do because, as we know, she's extremely stuck up, but if you choose to listen to her, you get a legendary pistol called Sellout. And this legendary pistol has a choice to switch between incendiary and corrosive elements. And the flavor text for it reads, Hey there, super fan, which is referencing Tyrene. Now, the other stats will be different for you, but I'll go ahead and go over what I got on mine. This came with, for me, 15% weapon fire rate, plus 100 splash damage radius, consumes 3 ammo per shot, which I'm pretty sure that perk may be the same for everyone else. At least, I've gotten this weapon twice, and both of them shot 3 ammo per shot. And mine also came with a 1.5 times weapon zoom. I'm not exactly sure if that one is the same for everyone else. And as for a damage, keep in mind this is a level 41. It has 147 times 3, because, you know, it shoots 3 per shot. The accuracy is 53%, the handling is 58%, the reload time and fire rate are pretty fast for a pistol and the magazine size I have is 15. Once again this could be different for you keep that in mind. Although the downfall is Tyrene is constantly not letting you down over listening to her. Always remember that you're a gun f and you will never be clean. What a hero! I'm bored! Hurry up and die already! I'll save you! She is just constantly talking crap to you with this gun. I mean, it's an extremely powerful pistol and all, but it's also extremely humiliating. Not to mention, when you're playing with other players, they can also hear what Tyrene's saying while you have this gun equipped. So, she's just sitting there calling you names and everything else, and other players are just listening to you be dogged by Tyrene. It's kind of funny in that sense, but it's also, once again, humiliating. So yeah, if you can just, you know, take the heat from Tyrene, you may like this weapon. Once again, it is pretty powerful. Anyways, now let's go ahead and see what happens when we don't obey her. Oh man, it's going to feel so much better doing it this way. Alright. See, it's been forever since we killed your siren friend and my followers are chomping at the bit for a new murder vid. So, we built a death machine. Here's a sitch. Let me film you killing yourself with my murder cams, and then I'll give you a one-of-a-kind gun. I guess you could try to ruin my whole thing, destroy all my murder cams, whatever, but real talk, 
We both know it. You're a gun. <laughs> All right, so now instead of obeying Tyrene and killing herself and then respawning at the new use station, this time we are going to be shooting her cameras out just to see her reaction over it. Yeah, we may not get the gun though this time. <laughs> well, see, you see, I have a like, not, like obviously, I'm not saying this is a bad mission. I've done it. It's, uh, it's funny, but it kind of breaks their own thing because they've said. Uh, <laughs> Like some of the new you respawns in Borderlands 2 DLC and Borderlands pre sequel, they're just like, oh, respawning is not canon. Like, it's just like, no, it's not canon. But now we have a quest like, oh, hey, kill yourself and I'll give you this, you know? Huh. So, like, is respawning canon or is it not? I should probably mark the quest. Yeah, I never heard of that. I mean, that's a good question, though, if they did say that. Okay, we are in Amber Mine. I'm trying to find the quest market. There we are. All right, so yeah, let's head out. Yep. Appreciate you uh, letting us do your mission so we can see what happens when we don't obey Tyrene. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not going to lie. This is going to feel so much better doing it this way. Yeah, sure. I mean, I wanted to see the gun that she was talking about that we got from her when we did this mission, but this is a curse of a weapon. It never lets you down over taking yourself out here. Okay, so I guess now we have to destroy some cameras. See, it says five, but oh, I don't see. Come on, you okay. seriously don't want this gun? It's a limited run! One of a kind! It'll just take a sec to kill yourself. No one will notice. Just do it. Mm. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nothing to it. <laughs> oh, man. She's good. <laughs> Her reactions are great. She's sitting here trying to convince us just to take herself out for her. But if we do that, she never lets us down with this weapon right. that we are cursed with if we decide to use it. I mean, it's it's pretty good, but she just never shuts up. Right, so there's another camera right here. Right here. I think the fifth one. Where's the fifth one? She is not giving up. Each camera we're taking out. Is, though, she the last... really wants us to sell out. Where's the last camera? Doing it this way, man, just feels way more right. Right. Oh, there's the last camera. It's hidden up here. <laughs> sell out. Oh, okay. <laughs> the gun would say that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got spelling you sell it. I just oh. shoot the cameras out. Well, Oh, just cash. We might have only got cash, <laughs> but we just made Tyrene mad. I mean, who wants to make Tyrene happy after how crazy that chick is? I mean, I don't want to listen to her. Maybe the psychopaths, but heck no. This felt way better doing it this way. Although it might have been less rewarding. We didn't get a legendary weapon. But still, that legendary weapon is like an attack from Tyrene. Like, she literally curses you with that weapon if you decide to use it. Sure, it may be a powerful weapon, but you're continuing to be cursed by her just talking crap to you over and over and over and over. She just never lets you down. She continues to just call you names and abuse you. And all your friends can just hear her talking crap to you. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It may get your buddies to laugh if they just randomly hear it in the game. I mean, I know it did mine. They're like, what the heck? Because they never seen this weapon in action, so it was pretty good getting a reaction. I mean, some of the things that she says is just priceless. There is a lot of voice dialogue that you can get with this weapon. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this Borderlands 3 experiment. Hopefully you all have been enjoying this series. By the way, just real quick, I wanted to mention this at the end of the video. If you guys have any ideas of some experiments for us to try out in Borderlands 3, feel free to comment it. Maybe you know a certain side mission that has different options, like this one did. There was two different routes that we could take to get two different scenarios, which is awesome. I just figured I'd leave this here at the end of the video. I mean, if you can't think up anything, it's all right. I just thought I'd throw it out there because some of you might be able to, to help keep this series rolling. It'd be greatly appreciated if you could help out. Heck, even by simply leaving a like or maybe giving my channel a chance by subscribing would go a long way. But that's totally up to you.
But all of that, of course, is totally up to you. This is just a friendly reminder. I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.